Hello everybody, Striking on NSFO here. Hope, hope you enjoyed that little intro I made. That was just me messing around a bit. But without further ado, I'm going to be talking about today's I'm going to talk about today's topic, which is going to be backwards compatibility on the Xbox One. This is an Xbox One video because PS4, from what I know, it doesn't have backwards compatibility, it has a streaming function, which I think is kinda useless. But that is up to your own personal preference. Anyway, you're going to see me playing Halo 4 and Halo 3 on the new game type they add in, which is just a bunch of random cool different game types that aren't classic or aren't traditional Halo game types. I thought it was really cool that they add this in, because yeah, now you can play stuff like Rift Ball. Uh, this is Clang of the Hill, and the next one I think is Team Hammers. So without further ado, we're going to jump into uh, to jump into this the, today's video, which is the backward compatibility, what games I would like for backwards compatibility, and... What games I think should be backwards compatible? To start off with, I think that all games should be backwards compatible on both the three on for all 360 games eventually, because it's like more options, more gameplay, and obviously it gives us more use for our games. But of course, that will take some time because you have to get you have to get the developers, and because the reason the reason backwards compatibility wasn't such a good thing is that you got a lot of greedy developers out there that don't want to. Can make backwards compatible games. That's why not all of games will be backwards compatible. Uh, back compatible, unfortunately. Unfortunately, a lot of games will be just straight up. Will be. Will try. They'll try to do remakes and stuff. But unfortunately, if backwards compatibility works, Microsoft will most likely find a way to get it to work for to get a backwards compatible version of the game. So without further ado, I've talked a bit about. A bit, I've talked a bit. I talked a bit about backwards compatibility. I'm going to tell you what games I feel should be backwards compatible. Starting off, I'm going to have to say. COD, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, World at War, MW2, and MW3. These, the reason I have these in a, their own little category is because I'm doing one game, per, I'm doing one franchise each. I'm doing a couple franchises. And that's the way it's going to be going, is one franchise. And these are the, personally, some of the games I think that should just be on right away. MW2, obviously, because that's the great, who doesn't like MW2, is one of the best games of all time. I hope it gets remade and one-man army gets fixed, or so you can't have two primary weapons or two weapons with grenade launchers, something like that. If they did do that, that would be an amazing thing. I think it would definitely change the way, um, definitely change up uh, the way a lot of people played MW2, because all people did was noob tube. When, when people found out about it, but like I said, hey, you can't, it's just meh. MW3, because I, I, even though I don't like MW3 that much, I still felt, I still had some good memories on it, and I have it, and it's kind of just like MW2 without one-man army, if you think about it, and with a couple of nerfs in place, obviously on the Deagles and stuff. The reason Black, I picked Black Ops 2 is because that's pretty obvious, it's one of the most played games of, I think, one of the most played COD games of all time. I think it's the most played. It's still played to this day, it still has very active servers, which is insane to think about. I don't understand why so many people still play it, but actually, no, I can't understand why so many people still play it, because the game is just a very good game. That, the only thing that didn't make sense to me was how bad hit detection equals a success in a game like COD, where hit detection really means most things. But hey, I guess that's what people wanted. Anyway, now we're going in Black Ops 1 and World at War. Black Ops 1 because Black Ops 1 was my favorite COD game of all time. It still is to this day. No, no game, maybe not even Black Ops 3. Black Ops 2 didn't top Black Ops 1. I doubt any game will top Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 was just amazing. I loved it. I loved the multiplayer. I loved the zombies. It was just a great game. It was. This was. It was also before the time of like pick ten and stuff. So I did find that very interesting. And then World at War, just because I would love, really like a World at War game on the Xbox, on the Xbox, uh, no, a next gen console. Because as we know, there is no World at War on PS4 or Xbox One at the moment. There's no World at War shooters, which kind of sucks. There is Wolfenstein, but it's not COD, unfortunately. Anyway, now that we went over that, I'm going to go over some other games that I would like to see backwards compatible. I would really, really like to see the cat. Uh, I think it's Castle Crashers, but I'm pretty sure that's getting remade anyway. But I still would like to see it. Um, I still would like to see it like a what you call a version of it, a, a recompatible version of it, because I loved Castle Crashers to death, one of my favorite games of all time. Either that, or if they make a second Castle Crashers, I'd be amazed, because that game was so fun in its time, and I, people still play it to this day. It's very active, very fun game. Next game I want backwards compatible is. Um. Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas and Fallout Fallout 3 and New Vegas essentially. The reason that I want Fallout 3 is because I loved Fallout 3. I loved Fallout. Fallout. I'm getting. I plan on getting Fallout 4 when it comes out. It's a great game and New Vegas just because Fall, it felt like. Kind of, to be honest, I it, it didn't really. I liked how they went to the true iron sights in that game and it was kind of like an upgrade to Fallout 3. Fallout 3, you really relied on the bats a lot more. 
Um, hopefully in Fallout 4 they make it play like an actual shooter and not like a um, not like a normal like uh, we not a completely VATS turn-based system style thing. That they are they did say they're breaking away from that, which is nice. So those are the reason I put Fallout 3 and New Vegas on there. Next is Skyrim and Oblivion. More Skyrim than Oblivion because Oblivion was a bit more it was a, it was a bit more on the weird side when compared to Skyrim. Skyrim was a lot more simplex, simple, not as complex and a little bit easier to understand, easier to play. Fe didn't feel as clunky and it wasn't as hard. So I'm gonna have to go with Skyrim and Oblivion just because I liked Oblivion. Just I liked Oblivion a lot too, and I do like the Elder Scrolls series. Skyrim because who doesn't like Skyrim? My God, it has all these things going for it. Skyrim is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it's definitely one of the better games you can get. Uh, that's really it. Skyrim and Oblivion because they're both they're very good RPG games and they p play very well. Now that we've done Elder Scrolls, the next thing I'm going to have to say is Halo Reach, and I think that's all they need to go. That's all we need, all we need from the Halo series because we have the Master Chief Collection, which has Halo One, Two, Halo No Combat Evolved, which I think is one. Not sure about that. Halo Two, Halo Three, Halo Four. Um, Halo 3 ODST, and I believe Halo... They were going to plan originally planning on adding in Reach, but it wasn't added in, in the final product. Just, same thing with ODST. But hey, you can't, you can't, you can't make the, you can't make all the decisions. Anyway, I do think Reach, because I loved Reach to death. It was one of the Halo games I've played where I actually understood how to do things. Because in previous Halo games, it was a bit more complicated. Like Halo 3, it was really complicated to do things. And Halo, and Od in Halo Reach, it was very simplex. It was easy to make game types, easy to make custom maps. Very, the juice, the map effects were really nice. The building blocks looked nice. And the map, uh, Forge Island, was just amazing. So I really hope this one gets backwards compatible. It's right up there with like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. I really want it to be remade. Uh, it's one of my all time favorite, favorite, co uh, not COD favorite Halo games. It's right up there. I really felt like Halo 4, it didn't add much. It just kind of felt like a revamped Halo Reach. But still, it, but it, that was also remade in the Master Chief Collection. I really wish that they didn't do Halo 4 and instead did Halo Reach, because Reach was such a better game. In my opinion, was such a better game. Like I said, Halo 4 kind of just felt like DLC. The reason that we have the Master Chef Collection even on right now is because of um, uh, that the Halo pick. Those are most of the games I want backwards compatible. I can't think of any other ones currently. Um, I mean, Mass Effect 3, yes, that is a big one that I want with, like, uh, Mass Effect series in general. Mass Effect 2, I know, is currently backwards compatible, so it's guaranteed. I want Mass Effect, I hope that Mass Effect uh, 1 will be. Hey, that, those are mainly all of it. There is, of course, a couple, like, indie games, but you... The, back, the probability of an indie g creator making a backwards compatible game is so slim, it's ridiculous. It's, like, utterly, utterly ridiculous. It's minuscule. Like, I, the probability of that happening is is so small, it's ridiculous. Um, indie creator would much rather make remake the game, or call it a remake, and then get $15, get m more money from it than just remake the game and have people download it. Those are all the games I want backwards compatible. If you guys have any games you would ha like to be backwards compatible on the Xbox One, let me know, l l know down below in the comment section. That's all for today's video. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. So, without further ado, bye.